thought I'd do a video of my call strain albino boa and my locality dwarf cocker k boa ukiora. And um, I'm basically doing this video because a lot of people have a misconception about just how big dwarfs are supposed to be and how big they're going to get. Well, this little guy is about two years old. This girl, about three years old. And you can see the size comparison. Roughly, they're about the same age, a couple months off, actually. But as you can see, this little guy is way smaller than she is. I think that um, the dwarf boas like the Cocker K, Nicaraguan, Terahamaran, those kinds of uh, boas, they're good for keepers that don't have the space for large boas, but would like to have a boa. Most people turn to corn snakes because of their size and because they're easy to maintain, stuff of the sort. Well, I have an addiction to boas, and I've always wanted one that's kind of smaller because large ones, hey, they're kind of hard to deal with. But I think that these ones are a perfect alternative to larger snakes if you're not into larger snakes. So here he is, teeny little guy and big girl. She's on rabbits right now and he's still eating pinkies. So yeah, and he doesn't eat but, I don't know, maybe like twice a month. Yeah, if that, they tend to fast quite often because they tend to do that in the wild during the migrational season of the birds. That's about, you know, from where they are. And this little girl, I'm guessing she's like a Colombian. Because most albinos usually come from morbs, which usually come from Colombia. So I'm not, I don't really see her coming from any other type of boa. But here they are. Anyway, so just thought I'd have a little video. All right, bye.